Good morning children. Today our topic is body movements. So movements are very very important for an animal, right? So what is the link between an animal and the movement? How movements help the animals, right? Now let us find the basic connection. So we are calling the organisms that can move from place to place or animals, the, animal, the organisms that are still or plants. So we find, we take one specific feature to distinct between plant and animal. Animals can move from place to place, most of the animals, right? So you know that the term any from the animals, any means motion, movement, life. So movement is observed in living things at all levels, right? So you are sitting still, you are not moving. Just you are sitting still, rock still. Even then you can observe some kind of movements in you. There are so many movements happening inside your body. So many materials are being circulated through your blood circulatory system. The gases are being transported or exchanged. And even at the cellular level, inside the cell, so many movements are taking place at the molecular level. There is a movement of molecules inside your cell. Isn't it? So movements are found in each and every living organism including plant and animal. But in animal you see the movements not only inside, not only the cellular movements, not only the internal movements, even the external movements. Of course you may try to sit still for some time, it's one or two minutes. You can't sit like that without breathing. You will be giving some movement here. So movement of your chest, ribs, so by that you can breathe. You can't sit still without breathing for a long time. So you may be moving your eyes. If you are asked to stay still without closing your eyes, how much time you can? Only a few seconds. Then you have to close your eyes. You have to blink your eyes. Right. So somebody suddenly you found one ant crawling on your back or on your hand. Immediately with a jerk you move. So we can't stop the movements in our body. Right. So movements help the animals in what ways? How the movements help the animals? The movements help the animals to search their food. The first most important functioning that is the necessity of movement is searching for food. Animals they move from place to place in search of their food. So for that they need movement. Second thing is for protection. Protection. Why does a deer run so fast? Because it has to protect itself, right, from the tiger or lion which is chasing it. So protection is an aspect. Some robber, some thief, some decoy, somebody is chasing you, you will be running. So running to protect yourself. So protection is one more requirement, one more aspect for which you need movements. The third one, reproduction. So every organism, it wanted to produce the species of its own kind, that is reproduction, producing the babies. So for that, the animals need to move. So that is the necessity of movements, external movements. Right, okay. And not only that, you need movements in your body just to eat your food, bend your body, run, pick something, ride something, see at something, do something. You need movements all over your body. Right? So that is the importance of movement. So all animals, they move from place to place by different means of movement. Right? So movement is common in all the organisms in moving from place to place. But what kind of movement it is, is different. Right? You are not flying in the sky as a human being, just you are walking with your legs. You are walking on your two legs. Whereas you see a dog, a cat, a cow, a buffalo, four legs. It walks on its four legs. Right? You see a lizard, it crawls, it uses its hands. And it puts its stomach on the ground and slowly it crawls. 
and you see kangaroo galloping hops it hops right and you see a horse and you see a tiger lion see a bird see a fish it swims with its fins bird flies with its wings so cockroach it crawls and it flies with the wings frogs they jump they hop right so this way we find that different animals they have different ways of movement because their moving organs are different so you can put a question why can't the snake just walk like a human because snake do not have limbs like humans to walk absence of limbs so snake it slithers right so why can't a lizard run like something else like a rat because the lizard it has a body very heavy and its limbs are very weak so only it can just crawl so that is the difference so here we have to identify that different animals they have different kinds of movement so the type of movement they do they choose depends upon their body parts so it all depends upon the parts that they use for the movement some use wings some use legs right some use their body scales like snake earthworm they use their body scales to move on the ground some animals have got very strong legs and some have very weak legs so depending upon all these factors they have different different kinds of movement let us mention what are the movements some animals they walk like humans they walk crawl creep slither fly swim right so hopping they hop they jump so many ways if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus